Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to go over all of the titles that I picked up during the month of August, so stick around. So August was a huge month. We had five weeks during the month. I picked up a lot of titles. Um, most of these were titles that I ordered online. A lot of boutique labels. Um, the month started off really slow, but the last few weeks have had a lot of releases. So I'm going to go over these by the week. So we'll go, go ahead and get started with the first week. The first week we had a release from the UK for Heathers. I did get the um, Aero Store exclusive plus the regular edition. Great film. Very happy to have both of those. Another release from the UK is Point Break on 4K. I do like getting the um, slip covers for these. So I, I love Point Break and it's really nice to have another edition in the collection. We also got a still book for Collateral. Another great film. I definitely need to be checking this one out again here soon. From Umbrella, I got The Quiet Family. Someone had recommended that I check this one out. So I picked it up. This is one of their numbered editions. So very happy to have this one. Another one is JSA from Umbrella. It's another numbered edition. And another one from Umbrella is The Primevals. I'm not very familiar with this one. I know that it has a pretty big cult following. Um, so I picked it up. It's another one. It's a numbered edition out of 500. Now another release from the UK for that first week is Pumpkinhead 2 from 88 Films. So I was able to get that one. So very happy to have that one in the collection. Now for the second week, um, we had quite a few titles released. We got Chucky Season 3. So happy to have that. Um, we have the release of If. Um, Imaginary Friends. I never did saw that. I never did see this one in the theater. Um, haven't really heard much about it. We got the Bike Riders. I was able to see this one in the theater, so happy to have it. Another big release for the month was Furiosa, a Mad Max saga. Really enjoyed this one in the theater. I did get the still book and also this really nice looking slipcover edition for 4K. So happy to have that. Um, another release from Kino is Nicholas Nickleby. I've always wanted to see this one. This is one, an older film that I've heard great things about. So happy to have that one. Um, I got The Bat Whispers. Not really sure what this one's about. It is an older film, of course. I got Dick Tracy RKO Pictures Collection. From Kino Lorber, I got 99 River Street with a slip. Navajo Joe. I want to see this one here soon. Never seen this one. I want to um, check it out. And then um, Le Dolos. I guess that's how you pronounce it. I'm not sure. Got this one. Bob. Um, La Flambeur. It's a 4K release. I got Cocaine Werewolf. Because you can't have enough films about animals um, on cocaine, I guess. And then I also got the single releases for Demons and Demons 2 during the second week. So the first two weeks, like I said, were pretty light. Okay, week three was a kind of a light week. We did get Your Next from Second Sight Films. So happy to have that one. We also got a lot of um, Kino Lorber releases. We got Prime Cut from Kino Lorber on 4K. We got this Peril and Distress 2-pack and Soon the Darkness and Sudden Terror. We got the um, re-release of Red Eye on 4K. Great film. I enjoyed this one. So glad to have another edition. We got Creepy Pasta. We have You'll Never Find Me. I've heard great things about this one. So I'm definitely going to be checking that one out. Got Halo Season 2. Then we have the release from Shout Factory, The Last Unicorn. The still book and also with the slipcover. So happy to have those in the collection. 
The Return of the Living Dead Walmart exclusive still book. The Evil or Evil Dead still book. And then we also got When Titans Rule the Earth, Clash of the Titans and Wrath of the Titans. I do enjoy both of those films. So very ha very happy to have a nice Arrow box set for those on um, on 4K. Okay, in week four is when things took a turn. Lots of releases during week four. We did get Poltergeist 2 4K from Screen Factory. Enjoy this film, so happy to have this one. We got Watchmen Chapter 1. Um, animated film, I want to check this one out. I do enjoy Watchmen. We got Sonic the Hedgehog, or Sonic Prime Season 2, which is a Netflix series, so it's nice to have another series, um, another season of this. We got Watchers, or The Watchers, on 4K. Really nice looking slipcover. Did not see that one in the theater, so I'm going to check that one out. We got High Crime. This right here is from Blue Underground, I believe. Um, so I picked this one up. It's the 4K release. I do try to get all of these. <clears throat> and then we got Jaws the Revenge, the little um, slip box set with a still book. This one's actually numbered, which I don't remember them doing this in the past. So I'm happy I was able to get that. Also got Sudden Death on 4K. Got to check that one out. I don't know that I've ever seen that one. We got the Garfield movie. We got Double Jeopardy re-released with a slipcover. We also got Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes with the Blu-ray release with a slip and the 4K release with a slip. And also a really nice looking still book. So happy to have those. We got King Kong box set. So, um, this is limited to 2000. This one's also numbered, so happy I was able to get this one. And then we got the release from the UK for The Silence of the Lambs, um, 4K release. I did get the Arrow Store um, exclusive. I may pick the other one up just because of the different artwork. Also got Joker 4K release on a still book, Walmart exclusive. And then you can never have enough of the Tremors films. I did get the Tremors 7 Movie Collection still book, Walmart exclusive. We got Laurel and Hardy, Laurel and Hardy The Silent Years, 1927. I do enjoy Laurel and Hardy, so I'm glad to have this one from Eureka. From 88 Films, I got The Bodyguard from Beijing. Um, I got A Man Called Tiger from Eureka. And then I also got Terra Firma. Did not enjoy this film. I watched it. It was not very good, in my opinion. Okay, during the final week of August, a huge week for releases. Um, there was a release over in the UK of some still books. And they started out in July and ended up in August. I wanted to show those real quick. Um, but these are the Film Vault still books. I did an unwrapping of all of these. Um, but very happy that I was able to add all of these to the collection. So definitely check those unwrappings out. Um, beautiful looking still books. We also had the release of the Mexico Trilogy. Um, I also got the still book for Desperado. It has not arrived yet. So I didn't want to hold up the video just for that. Um, but that is also included in here. I've never seen any of these films. It's got El Mariachi, Desperado, and um, and then the last one is Once Upon a Time in Mexico. So I'm definitely looking forward to checking all of those out. We also got another still book um, collection release from Walmart. I did unwrappings of all of these. These are all the all of the bloody disgusting still books that came in during the week. You may be able to find these at Walmart online or on the um, end cap that they've got for some of their Halloween titles. Another beautiful still book that came out this week is Drive on 4K. This is the only way that you can get this film on 4K is through this still book release. So if you're interested in getting this, I noticed that the price did go up, but definitely check it out. I'll have it linked down below if I can think about it. We also had the release for um, the complete series for Pee Wee's Playhouse from Shout Factory. 
Um, it's a shame that they didn't do a little bit something bigger for this release, like a slipcover or a box. I would have loved that, um, but very happy that I was able to get this one. Um, I almost bought the DVD release, which is going for a lot of money, so I'm glad I held off and didn't do that. Now, something about this last release, uh, something about this last week of releases is that Kino Lorber put out a lot of titles, especially throughout the whole month of August. Um, but this last week they did a lot. We got Aces High, Kino Lorber Cult, we got Squirm, Alphaville, Kingdom of the Spiders, Last Year at Mar Marion Bad. The White Dawn, Frogs, The Food of the Gods, and then lastly we got Empire of the Ants. So really huge week for Kino Lorber and actually a really huge month for them. But those are all of the titles that I picked up during the month of August. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about the titles that I picked up. And also let me know some of the titles that you were able to pick up. Because I really do enjoy reading your comments. But thanks for taking the time to watch this video today. And we will see you next time.